Hey, hey, everybody. This is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. La, 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 la. Get it. Oh, her trying to get her bow out of her hair. <laughs> say hi to everybody. Can you say hi? Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi, everybody. Hi, Dee. <laughs> she got a haircut. So her body's all thin. She looks too thin, but I promise she's only two and a half pounds, so she's eating and drinking. She loves to eat. We left her the legs, leg hair long, and then her body's all nice and shiny and cut real, real, real short. And then look at the top of her head. She looks like an old man. She's got all gray hair on top, but her is still so pretty. Her is so pretty. Her got yellow bow in her hair. She wanted to say hi to y'all at the beginning of this video. She is a lot more comfortable on the desktop now. What are you getting into my cheesecloth or what? Get it. Get it. Get it. You're not interested, are you? You're still a little trembly, but not too bad. Not too bad. Get it. Get it. I don't want to. All right. Well, tell them bye-bye. Tell them, tell them bye-bye. No, so I don't want to look up. There we go. Tell them bye-bye. Say bye-bye, peoples. In today's video, this is going to be a very simple little project. You can use scraps or you can use um, your cardstock that you already have. In stock, full sheets of cardstock, however you want to make this project. But it is super simple. It is making envelopes without the need of a punch board. Um, I had made envelopes a little while, while back and I had quite a few comments of, well, I don't have a punch board. I don't have an envelope punch board. How can I do this? I don't have an envelope punch board. Well, guess what? You can make envelopes without an envelope punch board and it is super, super duper simple. <laughs> and they come out square as in even sides or you can fold them in just a little bit more and make a taller pocket or you can fold pull them out just a little wider and make a fatter shorter pocket but these i'm making some small ones to add into my journals and i love the fact that they fit look how pretty this pink in this paper and then that music note i love that um so look how cute that is in that pink um, page on that pink page and I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to leave the flap open and actually glue it down and then this is a pocket here and then I'll just glue these three sides down here and have myself a tuck right there ain't that cute I love that idea and I'm not going to ink this envelope because I like how busy that paper is and I love um, the way it looks up against that page so that is definitely the page I'm going to put that envelope on and I will show you how I made these envelopes easy peasy with no need for an envelope punch board but um, these are a great size for if you have um, those old Project Life cards, if you have any of those, and those are usually, um, what are they, three by four, yeah, three by four cards, if you have any of those, these envelopes are the perfect little holder for Project Life cards. And Project Life cards are ready-made journal cards that you can put in your journal for journaling. So um, these little envelopes, in, envelope, <laughs> these little <laughs> envelopes, <laughs> hey y'all, I just leave it all in. I'm human. This is real life stuff. Um, these little envelopes are great uh, pockets and ways to hold those Project Life cards if you have them. If you don't have Project Life cards, cut you some three inch by four inch pieces of cardstock and you have envelopes ready for these little pieces and you have some ready-made journal card holders ain't that cute and if you don't want to put the envelope in with the flap open like this or make a tuck you don't have to do any of that 
you can just do like this one. I have made a little circle flap for it. So that top flap goes into that circle and that keeps it closed. So you can add it like that in your journal and you can glue it down all on all sides and not worry about pocket on the back side if you don't want to. And then when you have it all glued down, you open it up and you have little pieces of whatever down in there, die cuts or things to decorate your pages or little um, folded up pieces of coffee dyed paper that you've got some secrets written on. You can put them down in there and then you can just glue down on the three sides and have you a tuck back behind it. That would be super cute. Um, you can also make multiples of these envelopes and you can stack them. So look at this. So if you don't, if your paper that you've made them out of is not super duper thick. Now this one is, this one's not, this one is. But um, if you wanted to stack them, you could do it just like this and glue this one down, then glue this one, the bottom half of this, onto the back of this envelope. Glue it down like that. And then you would have an automatic closure for that top flap to stack them. Look how cute that is. That's darling. And you could glue this one down all the way on the back or have it open at the top and have you a top tuck and then you would have a pocket here and then you would have a pocket in this one. How cute is that? So little envelope pockets for your journals can be used in all sorts of ways and that's just a few little pieces of ephemera that I have that I can put in these. Now I'm going to show you how these come together super duper easy. I'm all about simple stuff to add into our journal. So let me get me some bigger pieces of scrap. I've got some really nice colorful scraps here to show you how I make these. And I'm going to get out my trimmer. And all you're going to do is cut your cardstock or your paper or whatever you're making these out of. You could even make these out of book page. I might would make them out of a double book page. So glue two book pages together and do it like that. But you can do that um, with a book page. Um, I'm thinking five inches by five inches. So we're just needing to make sure that everything is squared up. And it is. Okay. And let's make this one six by six. Maybe. I don't have six. Let's do five and three fourths by, do I have five and three fourths? Yes. <laughs> I could have done six by six. Okay. There's that. And let's see, as long as they're square, we good. You could do it and it not be square, but I, I tried it and they look a little wonky. So, um, and let's do this one four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I mean, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Mm -hmm. Four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay. So I have all different sizes, but they're all square pieces of cardstock. Okay. Uh, you don't really want to use cardstock that is directional on one side, unless you just want that, that direction, um, directional side on the inside. Okay. Cause once you start folding, cause you're going to fold corner to corner. So that's going to make all your designs diagonal. So you don't really want, um, directional paper in that. So here's the biggest one. This one was what five and three quarters by five and three quarters. All you're going to do is meet your points, meet two points, and just barely overlap them. Okay, so there's my two points and I'm just barely overlapping them like that and just get it straight, barely overlapped. Get your bone folder. fold down those sides. So there it is. They are 
right at each other but just barely fold it over okay then you're going to get top or bottom whichever one this is and you're going to fold it up and you're going to make this point just barely taller see just going to make that point barely taller than where these two points are so just come up make yourself a point in the middle and fold over so look you've already got your envelope already done um, you are, will want to um, probably do that corner corner around that um, but then if you want to if you don't want to um, have it where the flap is open and the pockets always open and you want to fold down the flap you're just going to fold down that top and you're going to meet it in the middle of this bottom flap that you just turned up and just barely overlap it just like you did here but this is top and bottom this is your sides here's your top and bottom and I'm just going to hold that tip in place while I bone fold that top. So look y'all, there's your envelope. That's all you got to do. Alright, I'm going to <laughs> do the corner rounder there. And then I'm going to corner round here. And then I'm going to get some eight eighth inch score tape and on this bottom flap I'm going to run a little line of score tape there and a little line on the other edge there and then that takes care of these you don't even have to add any glue to those because the two little pieces of adhesive you put on that it's going to take care of these two flaps uh, you can use liquid glue I just like this a little bit better for the envelope because it's instant gratification you can go ahead and put stuff inside of these if you want see now you want to make sure that you don't put your adhesive all the way up to the point I got to talking and forgot about that I need my adhesive eraser these things are Maze balls. I love adhesive erasers. Now I have just a little bit right there. See that little tip right there has got too much adhesive or it's got adhesive on it. Doesn't need adhesive. So I'm getting my adhesive eraser, my little square, and I'm getting that adhesive off of there. And it's not going to mess up my cardstock. Ain't that wonderful? I just love that. So I'm just going to run that a couple of times to get that adhesive off the back of that. I even run this thing along my mat. When I get glue on it, I'll run it across there. And then we've got a nice pretty little envelope all ready to put some goodies in. Or you can use this in snail mail and um, put your card in there, put your um, letter in there, seal that up with some washi tape, a little pretty piece of washi tape on the back of there would be cute. And then make yourself a label so that the USPS can um, recognize your handwriting on this pretty designer paper. Put your little label on there and a little stamp and you got your ready-made snail mail piece. But I'm making these to put in my journals and I mean look at that how cute. Now of course this one is bigger than these that I have been making but that even goes in this journal. I'm not crazy about wild patterns like this, but that even goes in this journal. Now, if you feel like you're getting some resistance here on these edges where you're folding down, you can always come in and clip off. I wasn't getting any resistance, but I'll just go ahead and show you anyway. Come in here and you clip off that little edge there if my Tim Holtz scissors want to cooperate with me and then that little edge there just clip it off 
like so and then no resistance like i said i wasn't getting any resistance beforehand but especially if you're using some thicker cardstock you might get a little bit more resistance so there's that one let's get these folded up i mean look how quick these come together quickly these come together use the correct grammar there melina um this one i'm going to ink because it is just screaming for some ink but I'm going to use this as the outside of this one and let's fold these sides over and meet them in the middle and barely fold over, barely lap over in the middle and then here on this edge and then bottom fold up just so that point is right above your two your opening of your two side flaps and then fold that over and then down here if like I said if you're working with some really thick cardstock you can clip out those little triangles so it doesn't give you so much resistance and then fold this down and barely overlap it with that one and use your bone folder um and that's just too cute I'm gonna cut out those little bitty triangles there on the top because that's where it's going to be opened up the most anyway I'm just going to cut those little triangles out and then I'm going to round my top and bottom flap and remember this time not to go all the way to the point just go there and there with my eighth inch score tape y'all I love eighth inch score tape when I'm making pockets love 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 it okay there we go there's another pocket all made less than three minutes <laughs> pretty much uh, if you weren't making a video and talking through the entire thing, you could probably make bunches and bunches and bunches of these. Easy. Okay, and then this one I am going to ink before I glue it all together. So I'm going to come together on my corners and just make them overlap a little bit. This is kind of like um, when I was young. I remember making pinwheels. And this is what this reminds me of. That folding that you had to do when you made pinwheels. Too cute. Barely fold up and come up. So you can see that point in the middle of your two side flaps. And then fold down. And use that bone folder. That is some pretty paper. I like that polka dot. You know what? kind of like I like the inside of that better than the inside of this so I'm going to make this one the bottom you can fix your envelope either way and have whatever as your top and bottom or your corners really your sides oh I like that okay so I'm going to ink with some walnut stain before I oh, let's go ahead and do my Corners. There and that one. Oh, was that the T90 one? That one sure was. Let's do this one. I want a little bit deeper of a. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, and then ink my edges. Don't have to ink those side flaps too much because they're going to be covered up okay and then figure out again which side I want as my top and it's that one and that thing did not do that corner good there we go that's better oh yeah that's better okay and you see that I messed up that fold on the bottom once I get my score tape on there I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to go all the way to the end or to the top. OK, 
Okay. And then pull off my backing. Add here to my side flaps. And I'm going to cut out my little triangles that I got up here. Oh, that's good. There we go. Oh, that one's nice. I like that. Let's well, see how pretty those are. I love that polka dot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Like I said, on this one, I'm not going to ink this envelope because I like how that looks. I like all that busyness. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this into this journal on this page. So I want to do... I want to do a side flap over here, um, tuck, and I want to leave the flap open. So I want to adhere that flap down. So I'm going to do a line of score tape here. I'm going to adhere down my top flap like this. And then I'm going to go this side and this side. And then take off my backings. Like that. And then this page is a little wonky, so I want to go with the wonkiness to get it straight. And it's also going to help that this page is torn, so this flap being glued down on top of that is going to help keep that page sturdy. So see, this is not only a good way to use, you know, to decorate your pages, you can also help the pages along a little bit if you've got a torn one or something. Okay, so I had to go a little more wonky than I wanted to because this page is in there, see, it's a little sideways, but I would rather keep it a little better that way than on the bottom. I can always put a decoration or something down there. So it is a little bit wonky, but I'm okay with that. So leaving that open, and we can put a little journal card down in there. And then, let's see, will those fit in there? Oh, look at that. Put these little library cards. I love library cards. That's like one of my favorite pieces of ephemera is a library card. Put those little library cards in there like that. And then even get some bigger pieces of... Um, ephemera or if you want to do some tickets I'm just going to fold these up like regular tickets would be if y'all are looking for these tickets I found them on Amazon so they are listed in my Amazon uh, storefront and that is always linked below in the description box so look at their little butterfly ticket in there. And let's see. There is plenty of room to add more stuff. These little specialty papers that we got in the last um, e-club kit. You can add a specialty paper in there. And you still have even more room in this to add even more stuff. Let's see if we've got... Oh, look at that little dolly. Will that fit in there? It surely will. So we got a journal card, a little die-cut dolly. We've got a strip of tickets. Look at all that we got stuck in there. Beautiful. And I love that little flower that just popped out of that. So we will use that also. Ooh, I like that too. That is pretty. Let's see, will it fit in here like 
It sure will. That's pretty. We can put that in there. And let's go ahead and adhere this down to our envelope as a little decoration. If my glue will cooperate with me. I think I say that in every video because in every video from the video previous I have forgotten to put my lid on properly and the tip of my glue is a little bit dry. Is that not cute? That is pretty. I love that. Let's do a little um, word label of some kind. Alright, so this little dance in the rain. That is cute. I'm going to ink this. These word labels came from uh, Digital Hobby Helper on Etsy. So just all together Digital Hobby Helper and go to Etsy, her Etsy shop or their Etsy shop and um, type in words in her search bar and these will pop up. Dance in the rain. That is so pretty. Let's do it kind of in the middle here. Love it. So your pocket here and then your little tuck on the side there all ready for this little journal. I just love this idea. And then like I said, of course you can uh, stack them on top of one another like this. Or you can put them in and have the little circle. Oh, yep, I need to show you how I did that. All it is is a little, let's see, it's my tiniest circle punch. Five eighths inch circle punch. That's all it is and you get just a scrap piece of cardstock of some kind. Um, let's do this here. Okay, and pop out your little 5 8 inch circle. And then if you want to ink it, you can. I think I will ink that just so it will show up a little bit better. It's tiny, but it'll show up better if I ink the edges of it. Okay, and then all I did to get that little stopper was I put it down how I wanted it. So let's do the pink at the bottom. And I'm just going to add glue to the bottom half of this circle. I'm going to hold the flap down. I'm going to put my circle down and then I'm going to pull my flap out. Okay, so you're pulling that flap out so it doesn't get glued in to that circle. I'm going to wipe off my excess glue and then I'm going to make sure that no glue got on the inside of my envelope there. <laughs> I'm going to dry it just a little bit so that I can show y'all how that closes. Yeah, I don't feel any glue on the back side. So then you're just going to like to open and close it. You're just going to put your top flap back behind it. And then when you want to open it, there you go. So that's all there is to that circle closure. It's a little 5 8 inch circle punched out with your paper punch and then glue one half of it. That's all it is. So that's how I did my little stopper and there is how I added that envelope pocket into this journal and here's all the other ones we made. I mean y'all these are so easy. You can mass make these very very easily. Uh, I hope that y'all try this and I hope that you see now you can make envelopes too without an envelope punch board. No envelope punch board needed. I hope y'all enjoyed this very simple, very easy project 
and y'all have a great day i'll see you in the next video if you have any questions leave me a comment and i will try my best to answer them y'all have a great day god bless bye y'all